Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna, and my channel name is Only My Dreams. Thank you so much for coming by. This is gonna be a Dollar Tree haul. But before I get started, I wanted to thank my newest subscribers. If you have your channel up on public and you're a new subscriber, I want to thank you for joining in. Susan Donahue, Trixie Song, XOXO 2012, Kamari S S A S M R. Armania1120, Lisa Pitts, Jazzy J, Misty Spriggs, Ink Bear, Dia T, Carmen Casales. Those are the top 10 people that have just signed up recently. Thank you so much for joining the crew and joining the family. So here we go. I'm going to start sharing with you some of the foodie finds because I think it's really important with the high prices that we try to get foods whenever we can. So um, they still had some of these Campbell's SpaghettiOs. This is the real big can. These are kind of hard to find at the Dollar Tree now. Um, this is the pasta and cheese tomato sauce. Again, lots of great ways to um, heat this up using leftover chicken from chicken meal, hot dogs, beef sausage, smoked sausage, you name it. Crumbles, turkey crumbles, crumbles, ground beef, however you want to do it. You can add veggies to these. There's lots of different things you can do with this as a base. So this one has the best bite date of October 7th of 2023. So I did buy two of those towards my pantry preps. I'm trying to put it here in a bag. I can put it away after I show it. And then talking about food, I did get some more of the Eat Regal Jasmine Rice. I find these to be so good. The long grain rice is really good as well. So if you see the Eat Regal, check it out this has a best by date of august 23rd of 2020 you can't beat that ready in 90 seconds i know i i love that one i love that one it tastes so good okay the next one i got three of those then i got two of the campbell's chicken with rice soup these are 30 percent more they are 30 percent bigger and i really like the best by date yeah it was april 3rd of 2024 so this is like a really nice date to find for a soup. So I went on ahead and got two of those. Then along with that, um, I did buy, let's talk about the Domino's here. The Domino um, sugar, they had two different kinds of sugar. They had that, that one like in a plastic bag. This one is 16 ounces. That one I think was only 15 or 14 ounces. So I went on ahead and got the Domino. And this one is one pound, okay? So for $1.25, that's not bad. Then I wanted to get some more of their English muffins. We ate them all up, so I did get two packs of their English muffins, and this is by Baker's Choice, if you see them. It's worth your while. Check it out, honestly. Now, for those of you that watched my, um, what is it? Which one was it? My dollhouse, my dollhouse miniature um, DIY and also the tag, the Dollar Tree tag, easy DIY. Um, I had a piece of paper underneath. Everybody thought it was like a mat, like this really cool old fashioned stuff. It's actually paper from an old paper stack from years and years ago. I cannot remember where I bought it from. I have so many people reaching out to me, asking me about that. Um, I, I don't, I can't even tell you what paper stack it was. I can't even tell you. It's been that long. But I had it there because I was cutting it up for my dollhouse miniatures. Yeah, that's why you guys saw it. Because after I finished up with the video, I started cutting it up for um, things for inside the house, my dollhouse. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, honey. Now, the next thing I did pick up was some of the Penalin. And I got the last one that was 33% more. Because I wanted to get some more, but I want it with the... 33% more. I wanted the big ones, so I was finally able to find another one because I like to use that in my washing machine. Then, talking about washing machines, I ran out of fabric softener sheets. These smell so good. These honeysuckle dryer sheets, there are 40 in here. They smell. It's like I just want to buy a couple of them, just leave a whole pack open in my car so my car smells insane. Put some in my drawers, in my drawers, you know, where you keep your clothes and stuff. Ah, oh, it smells that good. I'm trying to tell you. It really and truly does. Then um, I did get some of the toothpicks that come in these little holders for my dollhouse miniatures. And it comes with the holders, which is like really convenient. You don't have to figure out where to 
where to put them. I did get some forks and stuff like that. I'm not going to share that with you because that's kind of boring. But I was able to find the stitch and what is a stitch and weft? The stitch and weft line. Everybody has been hauling these really beautiful, beautiful um, towels. And I haven't been out of the house in forever. And I was like, I'm going to miss out. I'm not going to find any. And I talked to um, one of the ladies there. I was like, you know what? I know I missed out on those towels. And she was like, I think there's still some there. So they had this beautiful design with like the lavender. Is that lavender or wheat design? But it's this beautiful purple. And then it comes with that little beautiful stripe. So pretty. I did get two of that design because it's just so pretty. I love this design. So I got two of those. And then I got one of the Alexa... Because this has like a different feel. Alexa, feed the kids. And they had another one that said, Alexa, clean the dishes. But it said, Alexa, feed the kids. I had to do that. Oh, no, yeah. Alexa, do the dishes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if we could say, Alexa, feed the kids. And it actually happen? Oh, my gosh. My life would be complete. I'm trying to tell you. Then, um, do you know what's, you know what I've been having a hard time finding lately? Is it just me? Bolero wipes, the face wipes. I can't find them. It's like everybody's bottom up. I can't find them. I was surprised when I found these two. So I grabbed them. I really enjoy using their face wipes. And this is the only one that they had. And this is the rose water and aloe, you know, and I, I can't believe I let my stockpile for these run down to nothing and they ran down to nothing because normally I'm always like you know stocking up whenever I find them but I haven't been able to find them I know I remember one time I was looking for the Bolero Ripes and I kid you not I didn't see any for a good seven eight months I don't know why but I didn't now, for those of you that have like edema, I, I suffer from edema. So I have my good days. I have my bad days where, you know, I swell up. My body literally swells up um, because I have certain health conditions. This, I found these diabetic socks. And not all diabetic socks are the same as we know. So I found these diabetic socks. And they don't look like they're Dollar Tree. I don't know who they're by. But they're a size 10, 13. I am a size um, 11, 12 shoe women. But the problem with diabetic socks is that most of the time, you really need them to be super, super stretchy and soft. Oftentimes, I go in there and I find them, but they're not nice and stretchy and soft like these are. So I did get three for me to use diabetic socks because I really needed them. And they were nice and stretchy. So there you have it. Then I was able to find in the children's department, I only got one thing. It was the Play-Doh. So I got the Play-Doh for, for the kiddos. I just got one. So I got that for the kids. There you go. And I also had someone that was very concerned. Very concerned. I appreciate it though. I appreciate it. The concern. I appreciate it. Someone has said, um, you only are buying like two things for like your younger kids. Don't you have like another child? I have five children, five and only my twins. There's can, can I find things in the Dollar Tree for them? My 12 year old is into electronics. He likes his nice shoes. He likes his nice clothes. Everything he likes is expensive. You have to go to a store or online to order. Ain't nothing at Dollar Tree nothing in a Dollar Tree except for some food <laughs> that he's interested in. So when I'm showing you stuff, it's for my little kids because I can still find stuff for my little kids. But my older children, no, that's like done and over with, honey. I have to, it's like, God drop some money for the stuff that they want. Now, I was able to find some more of the Lysol 15 count wipes. I use these to wipe down the handles of the carts. I do that. And also my steering wheel, the handles. I do that periodically. So I like to get the 15 count whenever I can find it because they did lower it down to eight. And I was like, I'm not buying an eight count for $1.25. I'm not, not for convenience. I'm just not. It's against everything I stand for. I just can't do it. Okay, in the beauty department. Okay, they did have stuff. 
they had different things and I'm just I have a lot of I got a lot of eyeshadows and things from Ulta like you know higher end brand things you know better brands things that I really and truly like and use I have not been able to find the big palettes everybody has been finding lately they're not coming to my store or maybe they did come to my store and somebody scooped them all up to resell haven't seen them have not come across not one so um what i do like is lip balm so they have this lip balm this one is called orange dreamsicle and it reminds me of eos of the eos brand that's like a circle like that and i was really excited to see the dreamsicle and then they also had it in vanilla bean now i i am an eos girl you will see a um a haul for me coming from EOS because they had a sale they had a clearance sale and I picked up a few things that were on clearance because I love EOS I love lip smackers and EOS and when I can find things for $1.25 that might actually be nice I'm all in I will try it honey then also I got another box of the ultimate white now what I have to say about this is this is this stuff works but the box is very deceiving. I'm going to open it up for you because in this big old box, you get literally three strips. That's what they have in that big box. Three strips. So you get three strips in this big old box. Yeah, I know. It's kind of confusing why they do that. Well, it's not confusing. It's all the trick of the eye. Like that goes for recycling. <laughs> and I actually landed in the box. Yeah, baby. Okay, then I did get some, um, I did get these, because they have all the school stuff out. I didn't have time to go through all that. I just, you know, because I had a very limited amount of time this morning before my husband left because we're still sharing a car. So I just had to pick up things that, you know, I kind of wanted and needed. But I did see these. These are wood magnets. So these are actually made out of wood. I love that shape. And I thought I can use it for my dollhouse miniatures to make a table. I know, right? Oh, I should have got two. But you know, they'll be there. I'll play around with it and see if I need more. If I come up with different things. Now, I did get some yum-yums. I did. And then I'm going to show you the books. Because I love the books. I did get toothbrushes and stuff. I'm not going to share that with you. Because that's boring. I'm not going to share it, but... Um, they do have the Hershey's with almond. When's the last time you saw Hershey's with almond there? I don't remember ever seeing that. So it was fun to see Hershey's with almond. I know, right? I did get some Twix. Then I did get the Reese's PCs. Little five pack. Okay, so I did get those. Now let's get into the books, honey. Get into the books. Now they had um, some good books and this was the first one. I thought it was kind of cool looking. This goes for $14.99, $14.99 and it says the ghost handbook, an essential guide to ghost spirits and spectators. My daughter loves watching ghost hunting um, shows. I do too. I watch the travel channel. Love it. So much fun. I should be on one of those. If my leg wasn't so messed up, I would be on one, for real. If my knees and my legs would cooperate, I would be in those shows hunting some ghosts. Because they're so much fun. So that's what it looks like, okay? So I got this one, and it comes like that. Then the next one is um, Jack and the Geniuses in the Deep Blue Sea. Now the interesting thing about this one, this is a signed copy. Signed copy. Okay, I don't know how much this goes for, but um, this is by the science guy, Bill Nye, the science guy. If you guys know the science guy right there. Yeah, and when it said signed copy, I was like, what? Is it a signed copy? I'm trying to look for the signature page. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's a signed copy. How cool is that? So I got that book for the boys. Then this one was kind of cool. It's Disney, A Wrinkle in Time, Book of Fun, Facts, and Science. It has puzzles, quizzes, math, challenges, and more. And I did not show you the inside of that book, of the Science Guy book. 
Okay, that's what it looks like. Now, this is the one for Wrinkle and Time. I don't know how much it goes for because it's like covered in the back, but it, it's supposed to be kind of cool. I opened it up and I thought that the kids would have fun doing these activities. Yeah, there you go. So I got that one. Then the next one I got was um, the final book. And it's called The Emperor of Pickle Time Ridges to the Bus or Rides to the Bus. An origami Yoda book. <laughs> and um, it was just kind of funny to have, you know, more books to this particular series. I didn't see them there, though. Maybe other people got them if they had any more. But it's like this. It's like one of those quick reads for the boys. Kind of cool, right? And then the last one that I was like, it was the Peace de la Resistance. Anytime you can find a DK book, this goes for $19.99. This is called Ice on um this this is about the polar cap and this is a dk book you guys dk books are amazing because their illustrations the information is just off the chain yeah look at that it's just awesome wow yeah you can go ahead and play with me so he's getting into the play-doh already so i got that for the boys too but that is everything for this haul i'm hoping that i can get out again sometime in the future <laughs> and then i'll have another share for you guys and um, i'm gonna talk to y'all later okay bye